in the Makoshi culture, nature is very, very important. It is our supermarket. It is our bank. It is our future. I belong to the Makoshi group of indigenous peoples of Guyana. At the Surama Eco Lodge, what we sell here is the ability to reconnect to nature. First thing first, you have to need to make your shelter. We have survival training. We teach how to construct a shelter in the forest, extract water, and navigate by the stars. Some of them came in about this size, and when they left, they were about this size. <laughs> the Surama Eco Lodge was set up as a business cooperative to give benefit to each and every individual, whether you're a farmer, guide, mechanic. We are one of the villages that has this business as our own. When we started in 1998, we couldn't imagine that we could sell a hammock for somebody to sleep in or to even sell a plate of food. We couldn't see it as a money-making venture because this was not our way of life. Conservation International helped in the capacity building of how you do marketing, how you do bookkeeping, how you develop your packages. This is a brand new airstrip that has been supported by CI and others. One of the big plus for our success is when we decided to engage the women as our partners. Seventy-five percent of the people are benefiting from tourism. Most of the food is from local farmers. The chicken, the eggs, the cassava bread, handicrafts, transport, all these things. Before we started, people used to be working in the mines. The young people would go off. They were breaking up of families. Now we have a number of young people who are taking on the responsibility. CI has helped empower our communities. CI has helped us have confidence. Ecotourism in Guyana has the potential to becoming just as big or even bigger than Costa Rica. As a member of parliament, I've been interacting with the acting minister of tourism. My biggest hope is that I could take what I've learned here to the entire country. It is helping us to maintain our culture. It is helping us to have a livelihood. We feel very fortunate to have a forest still intact.